The curtains fell on an exciting Easter International Grand Prix out at the spanking new cycling velodrome in Coover, where a sold-out crowd witnessed an amazing night of action. But when the dust cleared, the amazing speed of two-time Olympian Justine Phillips stood out in the end and had the crowd shouting his name in approval as he took the sprint title yet again, getting the better of Ireland's Ian Mullen in a third and deciding ride. The stage was set for a fine day of racing when a sold-out crowd greeted the riders in the final day of the Easter Grand Prix in Kuva, and the riders returned the favour with some outstanding performances. The Blue Ribbon event was obviously the men's sprint, and in the battle for gold, local star and two-time Olympian Justin Phillips had a fight in his hand against Ireland speed merchant Ian Morgan. In the first of three rides, Justine felt the speed of the Irishman, who looked strong and fast as he held off the fast-finishing Phillips to take a one nothing lead in the series. But there was no such worry for fellow local Quincy Alexander, who was up against the experienced Venezuelan Hassoni Canelon, once among the fastest men in the Western Hemisphere. In the second ride, things heated up early as Alexander went for the jugular. He took the lead and dared the Venezuelan to come over the top, but he couldn't muster the power needed to catch Alexander on this day, and the kid from Arima sewed up third place and shifted the spotlight back on Jassim in the second ride of his gold medal series. The Sipari Bullet got the message and produced two stunning rides. First, he bolted and had enough legs to hold off the fast-closing Mullen to even the series at one apiece, setting up a winner-take-all finale. In the third and deciding ride, things heated up at the bell, with Justin full of confidence now and decided to again take the lead and take his chances out front. But once again, Mullen showed the determination to not just close the gap, but to actually get shoulder to shoulder with Philip. But at the line, Phillips had done enough to nose him out to take the gold. And you could see just how much it meant to him as he pounded his chest in delight and acknowledged the crowd's applause for a job well done. Just saying is back is now the talk of the town. The women's final was another interesting affair where the USA's Mandy Marquant took a one nothing lead into the second ride with Diana Garcia of Colombia. Mandy sensed the threat from the Colombian and got it into gear early and had enough strength to hold her off for two straight and the gold medal. It was a similar thing in the ride for bronze where local girl Tineel Campbell was hunting another medal but came up just short in this one as another American in Maddy Goldby had too much speed and power and secured the bronze medal for a USA 1-3.